since I got a used windsurfer and didn't pay too much for it, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on repairing it. So instead of ordering a new tendon joint for like 25 bucks or 22 bucks, I ordered this piece of rubber polyurethane rod. This is 20 millimeters in diameter, and it, this piece was about 20 centimeters long. Uh, and it seems to work really well. It's got a good flex to it. It seems really strong and sturdy. And the good news is there's only 17 bucks for this whole piece, which could make about three or four different tendons. So, you know, you can have a bunch of spare ones laying around, no big deal. I just measured it to get some rough ideas, but really this piece cut in fourths could have made perfectly fine tendon joints. I clamped it in my miter box just to get a really flush and square cut but there's a million ways to cut it that would have been better i'm sure this was actually kind of tedious uh, because the rubber kept getting caught in the uh, the box so i did this over and over let me just speed this up about eight times fast finally i cut through it it looked pretty good to me just made sure the edges were clean and then i wanted to test fit it and it seems like a pretty good length it's got a good bend to it it feels pretty sturdy i maybe could have made this one a little shorter but again it's like four bucks for this so it'll be fine especially since i don't know what i'm doing with my windsurfer it's perfect now you don't want the screw holes to be lined up you want them to be offset by 90 degrees because that will give a little bit better structural integrity when you drill the holes through it. Uh, that's my understanding. So that's what I did. I just turned them to 90 degrees and drilled those holes. Now and here's where you want to make sure not to be stupid like me. Look at that mug up on the top of the screen and watch the drill at work. This is really fun. My wife loves that mug. Yep. Yep, that's what happens if you're not properly securing your <laughs> your drill and the object you're drilling but anyway the hole works so we'll move on from there then you just want to make sure that it'll actually fit through the through bolt the hole that you created so i test fit it before i put it all in the contraption together and actually i figured out that my bit that i was using was a little too tight so i went up one size for it and that made it way easier to get through and so I just did the whole thing again with a slightly bigger bit and it seemed to fit just fine. It was a snug fit. I liked it very much and once I hammered that in with a little bit of finesse I ended up <laughs> uh, doing the same thing to the other side at a 90 degree offset. And finally when I got it through there I just put the screws in to hold the through bolt in place and boom I was ready to go on the next one I did put some WD-40 in these just to make them a little easier I hope that was a good idea I don't actually know and then did the same thing with the second side Awesome. So I finished one of my tendon joint thingies and I still have more of this rubber rod. I can make two out of those, I think, but I could do three if I did it um, even better. So I'm going to finish this one and then I'm going to make a spare as well. Go ahead and drill that. Thanks for watching.